I'm uh, from Laurel Cable, and I noticed that uh, Prince George's is very, uh, police department is very visible in the neighborhoods, uh, the senior citizens. And what are some of the activities that you do with the uh, community? Oh, we have a host of activities that we do with the communities. Um, we have events that are geared towards unused uh, watch groups and homeowners associations. We have events that are geared towards the uh, apartment complexes and the rental facilities. We have commercial programs, we have youth programs such as this. We have the senior programs that we do. Um, we we have pretty much everything for everyone. The, the question I always ask uh, officers is, uh, one of the officers says you do something like with the uh, neighborhood watch and stuff yes. like that. But you can only do so much. How important is it for the neighbors to do their part, to report what they see? It's vitally important. We can only do so much because there are only so many other people. Right. But there are many more people in the community. They are the eyes and the ears. They see everything that goes on. And we very much rely on them to help us solve the crimes and the issues that are occurring in our neighborhood. So we do very much value the partnership that we have with the I um, uh, know Officer Hibbert very well in that. That young gentleman back there behind you, because I tape the the things that they do at the Coffee seniors. The seniors yes. Yeah, right, right. So thank you for talking to me, Captain, and um, thank you for keep being up, here. Keep up the good work. Hey, Shell, look who's coming.
Introduce Captain Lowell. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, um, one of the reasons why we can do these wonderful things to the kids in the community, we have a great command staff and we have our new assistant commander up here, Captain Lloyd, who helps make this possible. We want to thank her. We have our fabulous Sergeant Tina Blackstone right there, who also supports us in everything we need to do. And of course, we have two more other people. We have Melissa Daskin over here. She's actually the West Florida Civic. Yeah, yeah. And then back in the brown Tanner's car back there, right back there, that's Beth, Miss Beth Evans. She uh, she helped coordinate all this. Let's let's give her a hand. And that's also Wilson back there riding around. <laughs> Any fatalities? No. No, no one hit the street? No. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. I had a Outstanding. Well, make sure everybody gets some water and, of course, get a popsicle to uh, cool everybody down. You gotta hydrate you. How long have you been doing this with the, uh, the elementary school? Second year. Second year. Is this the only uh, spot that you just kind of go over the city and... Uh... This is the only spot we do up here, yeah. Oh, okay. We do other things throughout the county. We, get the so we started doing bike and B-Sock last year. So we do it every year. And this is, this is all in conjunction with uh, Prince George's uh, Police Department, right? Yes, sir. Okay. I know you, you also do... Uh, things with the seniors also, but yes, the sir. seniors also citizens. Hibbert does. Uh, yeah, that's that's Hibbert's uh, yes, domain sir. over yes, there. Yeah, yeah, I heard that. Well, I, I usually I know I usually go over and uh, tape it for them. I'm with Laurel Cable, okay. so I go over and I tape it for them and then I air it. Okay, yeah. For a well, local I'd love to have you come to one of our neighborhood, I'm the neighborhood watch coordinator. We do all the bullying seminars, gun safety for all the schools. We do a lot of great programs. Give me your card, and we, we, it can be arranged because we're always looking for community things to, to broadcast. Okay. okay. Uh, let me see about. Normally, when I say I'll give you mine, I don't have it. <laughs> and that's our sergeant right there who makes it possible, Sergeant Blackstone. I'll get him over here. Come here. She wants me to. He wants me to. Um, I'm uh, from Laurel Cable, and I noticed that uh, Prince George's is very, uh, police department is very visible in the neighborhood, uh, the senior citizens. And what are some of the activities that you do with the uh, community? Oh, we have a host of activities. Oh, we, have that we, have things. Um, we have events that are geared towards hundreds of watch groups and homeowners associations. We have events that are geared towards apartment complexes and the rental facilities. We have commercial programs, youth programs such as this. We have the senior programs that we do. Um, we have pretty much everything for everyone. So the question I always ask uh, officers is, uh, one of the officers said you do something like with the uh, neighborhood watch and stuff yes. like that. But you can only do so much. How important is it for the neighbors to do their part, to report what they see? It's vitally important. We can only do so much because there are only so many of us out right. But there are many more people in the community. They are the eyes and the ears. They see everything that goes on. And we very much rely on them to help us solve the crimes and the issues that are occurring in the neighborhood. So we very much value the that we have with I um, uh, know Officer Hibbert very well, and that, 
that young gentleman back there behind you because I tape the, the things that they do at the seniors. seniors. Yeah, yes. right. right. So thank you for talking to me, Captain, and um, thank you for keep being up here. keep up the good work. Thank you. Need another popsicle? You got another one? All right. What am I talking about? Well, this great opportunity is for the kids to just come to work together and join activity. All right. This is Officer Wilson. Yes. Is that the, Officer Wilson, what does it mean to you as a police officer to be able to to do something like this in the community for the kids? Uh, to me, one seeing the kids' faces. Seeing them smile and all, uh, to me, lifts me up, makes uh, me excited and happy that one, the kids are having a good time, two, they're getting good exercise, and they see that the police uh, are, are good guys, that we're, you know, we're, we're out here for them, we're out here to, uh, you know, better, uh, better their lives, help them with uh, anything that they need, that more like we're their friend and not their enemy. I'm beginning to notice more and more that Prince George's Police Department is very viable and very visible in the neighborhood. How did that come about? Is that that's something that's stressed? That, uh, it, it's it started obviously, um, obviously from the command staff and then other officers that are actually out here on the street that are running calls and stuff for service. See that. Being oriented with the community is helping the community. One, um, it's building a relationship with the community, and instead of uh, you know being separate uh, entities, we're combining each other, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we're working as one, and it's really helping. It's uh, reducing crime and, mm -hmm. and giving a better outlook. Now, as a unit, you know, you don't have a lot of people. How important it is for the, the parental participation in things like this? Parental, uh, parental, parental, parental help, you know, um, a lot of times when, when kids don't have the guidance from their families or from their parents, they tend to go about doing other things mm -hmm. and going about uh, um, doing criminal activities and they don't do as well in school. So when we have uh, parents that are there to help with guidance, whether it's a single mom or it's a you know a mother father, you know if they have kids have the guidance, they one they'll be successful, two they'll stay out of trouble, and they'll do better in school. And I think that plays a huge role in the, the upbringing and, and the kids' life. Every day. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Officer Wilson, for talking to me. Keep up the good work. You're welcome, sir. Have a good one.